Let me know when we're ready. Feel free to take a seat and oh. we'll uh, just get the shot set for yeah. 10 seconds. Just tell me when we're ready. Every cop is a make or break cop. Every cop counts. And every cop should move us one step closer or multiple steps closer to that target of halving emissions by 2030. I've been going to COP since 2003 and I always have high expectations of them and um, even though I know that they are difficult places to get business done as we are trying to agree by consensus amongst 190 countries but I think this year given the impacts of climate change that have been experienced around the world it's also an African COP we see the impacts of climate change on the Horn of Africa and the famine there I think there's going to be a real urgency at this COP and that's what I expect our leaders to to bring to the table. If we don't mitigate, if we don't take the necessary measures to limit temperature rise, we will then have to exert far more effort, invest far more in adaptation, adapting to a warming, warming planet. And as we exceed limits, which we already are, there will be more loss and damage. Again, the cost there is um, additional investment to, um, to, to rebuild and the cost of loss of life. And then the, 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 the element that links all of that is finance. that are the most vulnerable, uh, those that are the most affected, it is at the top of the list of, of, of priorities because they are the ones who are sustaining the damage. Again, you, you call Pakistan, uh, a third of the country underwater, billions of dollars in damages, lives lost, millions displaced. Um, how do they recover from that? What mechanisms are in place for them to recover from that? A government uh, cannot put contingencies in place uh, to recover adequately from a disaster of that magnitude. So 
know, if developing countries are con to continue to invest in the climate action that they need to, to take in the long term and the short term, they need to see those funds flow from the developed countries who have greater historical responsibility for the causes of climate change. So it has to happen. The, the, the money has to flow, the resources, the support, the technology, the capacity building have to be there. And it's really important for us all to remember that no one country can can find its way out of this crisis alone. It is a collaborative effort. We have to work in solidarity with all countries. Um, and that means uh, the wealthier have to support those with fewer means to make the changes. The financial implications of this are significant. Um, but the conversation and solutions Conversations need to be had and solutions need to be found that satisfy the donors um, in terms of the support that's required. But that support has to be sufficiently adequate to again meet the needs of those vulnerable nations and bringing those parties together, having constructive dialogue with tangible um, solutions. Um, is where we are. Look at the summer that, that we've just had, and this again goes beyond just vulnerable countries. Um, the extreme heat, the fires, the floods, the droughts, um, whether that's in Europe, whether that's in, in North America, China. Um, the, the, the consequences, the realities of climate change and um, its impacts are being felt. And adaptation will take you so far. There are elements that uh, adaptation uh, programs um, can help address. But because of where we are on that 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 uh, that, that temperature spectrum, um, those extreme events are simply going to increase. We really have to take this emergency seriously and act like it's an emergency. We now have real recent lived experience of what it is when the world and all of our leaders work together to solve a crisis from the COVID pandemic. We're not seeing a reaction like that yet in terms of responding to the climate crisis, even though we have now seen the dreadful impacts from Pakistan to the United States of the real losses, extraordinary economic losses and human losses um, wreaked by climate change and that need a similar, a similar scale of response to the pandemic.